This six foot concrete barrier and another 12 feet of chain link fence separated the Cleveland Rams football field from this home here on 173rd, but it was just a minor obstacle between the team and saving that man's life. Knock on the door, knock the door. Hey, knock on the door. It was nothing short of teamwork. We just all had the same motive without even speaking. No one said, oh, go jump the gate. We just jumped the gate. The Cleveland Rams were practicing Wednesday night when owner Randy Knight spotted the smoke and flames pouring out of the home on East 173rd Street. Wide receiver Deontes May was one of the first over the high fence. We seen his hand like waving like he was trying to get somebody's attention and then it just fell like he just collapsed. May pulled the nearly unconscious man through the door that he and two other teammates carried him across the street to safety. Hey man, y'all just saved that man's life. We have an EMS person and a nurse that's on our team who started to work on him, make sure he was fine. Meanwhile, quarterback B. John Walker rushed to check in on the other neighbors. So once I finally had got over, I alerted Randy on uh, which street this was happening on. And then I went over to make sure, you know, it wasn't anybody at his house. And then I went across the street to the lady over here and made sure she was alerted of the situation. Others even offered to go back inside the burning home. They were really, they were willing to go back in that house. They were asking me who else lives in that house. They were going to go back in the house. Neighbor LeBrent Reese captured the moments the after guy. the rescue. Brother, this is the guy that helped me, Mike. How you doing, sir? How you doing? <laughs> The team should be the Cleveland Angels. They just saved a man's life today. The team reluctant to be called heroes. We feel like people that's helping our community out. You know, a lot of people calling us heroes, and um, you know, I guess you can say that. But we're just here to, you know, serve our community. But proud to be called teammates. With a lot of negativity that go on in our community, it's good to know that we still got a lot of good people who are willing to do good things. In Cleveland, Catherine Ross, News Five.